Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Jewel and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Today's story is New York police detective inspired to make kidney donation to a stranger. This information is coming from the National Kidney Foundation, so let's get started. As a 20-year veteran of the New York Police Department, Detective Michael Lalo, 46, might be already considered a hero. But the label was solidified when he decided to give one of his kidneys to a stranger. Michael was inspired when he heard a story about a man who posted on a giant billboard a desperate request for anyone willing to donate their kidney to spare him a life on dialysis. Most people don't resort to such measures and it was a long shot. Nevertheless, Michael was moved when he saw it and decided to answer the call and signed up to be evaluated as a donor. Sadly, testing revealed that Michael wasn't a match for the stranger on the billboard, but it did show that Michael could be a donor for someone else on the kidney wait list. An anonymous mother in Maryland was in need, and Michael went through with the donation for this woman he had never met. On December 19, 2019, which has to be a typo, his left kidney was surgically removed for transplantation and Michael became her hero. What do you do on this earth matters, said Michael, a husband and father of three children. You can change the world for someone if you have the courage to try. Michael said despite the rigorous test and month-long recovery, he would one million times over do it again and absolutely recommends that others consider making the life-saving gift. I want people to know that they can do it too, he said. I want them to see or hear me talk and say, wow, that guy's life seems better after donating. That wish seems to have come true because since Michael has made the gift and spoken about his story, Two other police officers have contacted him on to get advice on how to become a donor for a stranger in need. According to Michael, he never really thought about kidney donation or kidney disease before he decided to do it. He didn't know anyone who had made an organ donation or understood kidney disease. Most people were shocked by the news and maybe even confused, he said but my wife and kids were very supportive. In July, Michael was able to meet the recipient of his life-saving donation at City Field during a Mets game. It turned out the mother from Maryland was also a Mets fan. When they met, she was crying, he said. She gave me a for forever lasting hug and said, thank you. It was very emotional. Finding a kidney for those in need is very difficult, and most people on the wait list wait for an average of five years for a transplant. Patients who find a living donor on their own can speed up the process and receive a kidney transplant, so patients are encouraged to learn more about living donation. The National Kidney Foundation offers the Big Ask, the Big Give platform which is designed to increase kidney transplantation and living donation. The Big Ask, the Big Gives includes in-person training, direct patient and caregiver support through our toll-free number, which is 855-NKF-CARES, peer mentoring from a fellow kidney patient or living donor, online communities and advocacy campaign to remove barriers to donation, and a multimedia public awareness campaign. Okay, everyone, this was New York Police Detective inspired to make kidney donation to a stranger. And when I read this story, I became very inspired also and wanted to share it with all of you. This story shows that people on dialysis or are finding out that they need dialysis can take this... Um, situation in their own hands and find a donor on their own through which this stranger did which is put a giant billboard 
so everybody could see and let people know that he had kidney disease and needed a donor. But you can go about it in different ways, not just a billboard, through your church, through your um, through your organizations, through um, social media, through all kind of programs are set up. And if you need training, of course, the National Kidney Foundation has made a platform called the Big Ask the Big Give to help you and give you ideas of how to go about this. It is a hard thing to ask other people for help when you have kidney disease, but it is very, very possible. And, and you need to know that there are so many loving people out there that are willing to help others with the gift of life. So everyone, if you found this information useful and inspiring, like I did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I want to say always, always, I'm sending you so much love and affection like everyone else in the CKD community and all the organizations that that work with CKD patients throughout you know, their lifetime. So guys, the only thing that you have to do, of course, is stay positive. Stay hopeful to know that there are there are many, many people out there that are willing to help. But sometimes we have to put ourselves out there, and that's very, very difficult. But there are um, there are steps that you can take, like I said, to learn how to do that if you want to. So guys, take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.